five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Live, local, late breaking. This WNBF News. A local group helping veterans now needs Red your help. How you can him. be a part of giving disabled vets their clear. freedom again. The big story this morning, though, just how beautiful it's going to be outside. Let's Andy. kick things off with First Alert meteorologist Andy Stein. Andy. It is a beautiful start to the day outside. Taking a live look right now over Myrtle Beach. You can see a lot of sunshine out there. Plenty of clear skies to go around. And we are going to be dealing with this. Not really dealing with it because it's going to be a good thing. We're going to be having a lot of sunshine throughout the entire day. 64 in Myrtle Beach, 63 in Florence. We're into the upper 50s in Conway and Hartsville at 59 degrees and 61 in Lumberton. Now, even over 30. the sands right now, a beautiful start to the day. So if you're getting down to go walk your dog or maybe just go out for your morning walk or your morning Animation jog, Katrina it's next, a toss gorgeous, Ruby. gorgeous start to the day. You can see a few people already enjoying that sunshine out there. Now, if you are going to be going down on the beaches today, 15. make sure you bring your flip-flops. That sand is going to be getting hot very hot today and we're also going to be warming things up very quickly into the 70s already by the time we head towards 10 a.m. and then towards lunchtime Rap. we're going to be into the 80s it's going to be a warm day today make sure you bring that sunscreen I'm talking about even warmer temperatures tomorrow 90s in the forecast and a little bit of rain as well all coming up in a few minutes okay. that all sounds good Andy thank you new at 7 the Little River Lions Club works Ruby. hard to improve where they live and one of their projects is making a big difference for veterans here. Ruby Durham is live in the studio this morning and has more on what they're doing. This group of locals is joining together to build ramps for low-income and disabled veterans. The club secretary says they get over 200 calls from people who are in desperate need of ramps. Here's a look at one of the most recent projects. The Little River Lions Club is a network of volunteers, and they're well known for their charity and helping the community. But in the past years, one service stands out above the rest. The club provides materials and labor to build ramps for disabled veterans and residents. So 13 seconds it all started long. when someone in the group said they knew someone who could use a handicap ramp. And with almost every member having a construction background, once they build one, the effort snowballed and it's making a real impact. Two. Two. The tears from the people that we finish them for. Aki was us to help I our community. Stand by Ruby, can't. five seconds build ramps for is what keeps us going. All they need is a phone call and they'll come out, assess the, the area, right and then go from there. The Little Rivers Lion Club will do all the fundraising to cover the full cost for the ramps. Katrina, but donations to the Lions Club are welcome from the community. We will post their information on our website for you. Live in the studio, Ruby Durham, WMBF News. Katrina. Thank you, Ruby. We are learning more about the man charged Ready with voluntary manslaughter after he told police he shot and killed someone in self-defense. Zachary Owens told police a man Ready approached him. See. We now know that that man is the victim in this case, identified as Ryan Burt. Owens said Burt started punching him in the face, and Owens said he repeatedly told Burt to back away and stop or he would shoot. Chelsea this all happened hot. in the 2300 block of North Ocean Boulevard in North Myrtle Beach. Owens told Ready police Burt did not stop, so he shot Burt multiple times, afraid for his life and unable to get away. Burt died at the hospital early yesterday morning. Yes. Coming up at 7.30, now visitors are reacting to the violence, something that they say isn't normal for North to be on one. Myrtle Beach. The Costco on one. Oak Forest Lane in Myrtle Beach was evacuated yesterday afternoon after reports of smoke in the building. It happened around 12.30. Fire officials say a non-hazardous leak from the refrigeration system caused the precautionary evacuation. Next. A repair company fixed the issue and the store reopened shortly after. The top story affecting tens of thousands of people. A massive wildfire in Canada's Alberta province is not showing any signs of slowing down. The blaze Animation has already in three next. an area bigger than all of New York City. It also forced some 90,000 people to evacuate. Now officials say the fire is threatening to spread into the neighboring Saskatchewan province. Peter Ackman has more. Animation three. Pounding the raging flames from the sky and protecting Packages the remaining structures in and around Fort McMurray on the ground, fire crews have been working around the clock. Some guys not even having chances to sleep, you know, just going in and out 24-7. Yeah. The fire has been nearly cheese. impossible to slow down, growing by over 50% just overnight. The high winds and dry we conditions have made it she dangerous said it was for those tasked with putting it out. This is definitely a different type of fire. Like, it's 
you know, jumping from sometimes building to building. Unpredictable, but despite the risks, police resume the convoys of stranded people from north of the city. Also being evacuated hey, several about nearby song. oil sands projects. Sink crew closing three sites because of thick, dangerous smoke. It was super unsafe driving around last night, yeah. So we had safety measures in place. But while the wildfires have all but stopped oil production, their resources on site are still being utilized. The oil companies operating in the area have been very good in making their personnel and their assets available. Okay, safely. While some are leaving, 30. much more support keeps coming north of Highway 63. People looking to help in any way they can. Brendan Zare was forced to leave Fort McMurray, and now he's volunteering with the SPCA to locate all the pets left behind. 15. Figured all the people are out, and the only lives that are left uh, potentially in danger are the animals now. As for when the danger will subside and Ten when seconds. residents will be able to get back home, it's anyone's guess. Stand by. If people were to come in at this point uh, in time, so I think Katrina. it would uh, hamper the response, the, our ability to make it safe. Katrina. On top of the smoke and fast flames, music. police say they are also dealing with thefts and looting. So to limit access, they are going door to door, forcing everyone to leave. Officials say there is a slight chance of rain early next week, which could tame the fire. But realistically, it could burn for months. Jeez. Well, it's Mother's Day. Don't panic if you forgot or if you Animation don't know on what two next. to do to treat that special lady. Coming up, some last minute ideas so you don't end up in the dog's house. Then later this morning in a WMBF News investigation, the man right, accused of can. kidnapping Heather Elvis breaks his silence. It's an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. It is 7.06 this morning. You're taking right, a live break. look outside. Beautiful skies. Keep it right here. Your live local late breaking coverage continues when we return. Let's go. Our radio Clear, partner, WXMB 101.5 FM.